What's up? Alright, I think I've started this video a dozen times. Um, I've been trying to put together the front end of this car and it's been tough. I don't even know what to tell you. So, hardest part has been fitting the strut and getting this in for some reason. It doesn't want to like fit underneath. So we're going to troubleshoot that today. It's all about solving problems here on the E30. Uh, let's get to it. So, what we're going to do first is put these um, lollipops on the lower control arms. So that's my left and that's my right. And that is the right. So let's put this together. Alright, so I'm not sure I can effectively do this with so many people watching. Alright, we are going to roughen up the end of this. Just some 60 grit sandpaper. Can you see it? Hope so. <sighs> Nothing crazy. And then, we've got a washer that came with the bushings. Slide that washer onto there. And then, we'll put this sucker on. Smooth, that was easy. Now we gotta put a little bit of lubricant on this. Okay, we're not gonna overdo it here. Just a wee bit. Here too on the edge. And then you insert that into that, as so. Takes a real pro to do this on camera. There, I got it. See that? Control arm number one is finished, the right side. Set this down over here. Then we're gonna do the same to the left. All right, control arms are ready to put on the car. How exciting! All right, so next we're gonna put the control arms on the subframe before attaching the subframe to the car. Now, it probably would have been easier if I had removed the steering rack from the car and put that on the subframe and lifted the whole thing into place. Maybe even the sway bar too, but I don't know. So, I'm gonna try it this way. So I spent, so I spent most of today, actually all of today, eight to five, in a courtroom and jury room. Thought I was gonna be on a jury for two weeks, but I don't. First degree murder, don't tell anybody. But I'm not on the jury, so I think I'm safe to talk. So here's our front subframe. I'm gonna take off these locking nuts, pop off those suckers, Slide that on right there. Just gonna hand tighten it for the moment. Cool. So these have to be torqued to 61 foot pounds. And since my good torque wrench starts at 70 foot-pounds, we gotta use this ancient thing, but it still works. Oh, and it's a uh, 22 millimeter socket. I'm super nervous about doing this, 
because I was not successful at correctly removing the old lower control arms. I was going to replace them anyway because I already had these, but I ended up having to cut the old shaft. Um, so I'm just, I'm rethinking if I've got this in the correct orientation. I do. Alright, 61 foot pounds on each side. Now let's lift the sucker into place. I'm gonna think how I'm gonna do that by myself. Alright, so look, I got the subframe installed. Lower control arms installed. I've got to tighten down the steering rack. Um, I've already done the the motor mounts; those are good. And now we're going to put on the sway bar, and then just bolt these in place. Oh, I got the steering links too, and the struts. Okay, so this seems to be the toughest part for me. I got hung up on it last night and had to troubleshoot it on the other side. And now I'm gonna show you what I figured out. So a lot of times when you are replacing the struts and springs, um, some people get hung up putting the lower control arm back into the strut. I know I had that problem, I looked it up. There were others too. Um, never really found a solution online, so I just started, just started working harder messing with some things and I figured out a way and uh, worked for me maybe it'll work for you let me show you so I've removed the control arm bushings from the frame I had those all bolted up when I put the car together I had this the, the uh, sway bars on control arm bushings all set up but I've had to disconnect those and remove the sway bar so I could get some more articulation on the control arm so you can see here how the control arm has to drop almost an inch to get this ball joint through the strut assembly. So what I've done is I've removed the sway bar, I removed the control arm bushings or the lollipops, and I've left the, uh, the nuts at the top loose. So we're going to move the, uh, the steering link out of the way. We're going to inverse this, okay, so turn it the wrong way, make sure you keep track of the right knuckle, we'll spin that around, put it in backwards, and then spin it around, and we should be in business, all right. I'm going to loosely put our nut on. Connect the steering link. Put that on. And we should be in good shape. So now I'm going to uh, tighten the nuts at the top at the, the strut tower. And then we're going to go ahead and put on our sway bar then our control arm bushings or lollipops torque everything down and then we'll put bearings on this sucker so we're close let's get to it Alright, so I've got everything hooked up now. I've got the sway bar on, 
the steering links, the control arm, the sway bar end links, everything's already hooked up, but it's not tightened or torqued because obviously these ball joints are a pain to get off once you've tightened them down. And um, I still have to put on the control arm bushings, which I've misplaced at the moment. So we're gonna do that right now. All right. Now we're gonna put on a brand new bearing. Super excited about how this is turning out. I mean, everything's brand new, looks good, and it's gonna work. No more rust, no more old, decrepit parts. Um, bearing is nice and smooth, went on without a problem. Yeah, we've got everything hooked up, and I'm excited about it. So, um, man, the front's gonna be done. It is a milestone day for me. Been waiting for this. Finish the front so I can start the back. And then finally get this thing on the ground and make sure everything works right. Tear it up. Take it to an autocross or something just to put it through some paces. Anyway, um, that might be all for now or maybe we'll keep going. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you soon.